Now, again, if you find any of this helpful, there is a way of putting a little value to it. You know, even if you had a dollar, um, that would help through PayPal. But even if you can't afford it, this information needs to be spread with as many people as possible. So share it, let as many people you know possible about this channel. Um, it is free information. If you have no money, doesn't matter. You can still listen to it. I'm giving this out free. I just need to sh show and ask for my worth because that's what I need to teach you is how to ask for your worth and start finding out your purpose. Now, there's a lot of people that are thinking this big change, this big awakeness is that love is going to be the answer. And all we need to do is love more. And all we need to do is help more. And that's where we're getting all screwed up. We all have a, a different version of love. And we all have a different version of helping other people kind of a thing in the Bible that says uh, um, don't give uh, a man a fish but teach a man how to fish and that doesn't mean teach a man how to fish for you so only you know you're doing all the work and to give the fish to him and you just give him a few bucks that's not the way to go it's more or less teach a man how to make the same amount of money as you want for yourself uplift somebody and, and, and we're not doing that. Um, education just definitely doesn't do that. I, I think the statistics are something like only 10% of people that get an education can actually land a job in the education they spend all that money into. Um, so that's even a crock. Um, it's who you know. And they only tend to help their families and you know, when everybody gets laid off, they'll, they'll lay you off if you ain't family. You know, they, they'll give family raises, but not you. People tend to look after their own. And that's kind of, doesn't work. Um, so how to kind of understand what love is. Let's say, I love, love, love apples. And you love, love, love oranges. If you want to show me more love, then you're going to give me your perception of love, which is you're going to bombard me with a bunch of oranges because that's what you love. And you think that if you give me a pile of oranges, that I will feel this love. Well, I'm highly allergic to oranges. The only thing I can eat are apples. I love apples. But we're not taking the time to find out what each other feels love through. We want to push our version of love on other people. And this is kind of, you know, why men can't really understand women and, you know, women aren't really getting along with men. Women have this intuition because we're nurturers. It's in our DNA to sort of read what it is you want. And not only are we nurturing babies, but we do that with our men. I mean men get most of what they want to the point where women are more slaves and some of them are kind of waking up and starting to be more like men so they're losing that ability the more that they turn into the logical hunters and you know don't even know how to read people but men have a really hard time intuitively understanding what the needs of a woman are that's where, you know, men always say, I can't read your mind. And women are going, well, why not? I'm reading yours, <laughs> you know. And it's like, it's a completely foreign thing to guys. They don't know how to read women. They don't know how to use their intuition. They don't know how to access their right brains and imagination and listening to, to their voice. Really putting yourself in that other person's shoes and saying, what is it they really, really want? What is it? And they don't even know to ask, you know. They don't ask for directions, you know, I know it all. <laughs> you know, there's so many examples of how men don't start to use their imagination, their feelings, their right brains, their intuition to try and learn how to read somebody else's mind. It is possible. Even a man can do that. And that's where our evolution will come from is when we can listen to what somebody else says and says 
I love this. And if you want to improve your world and love is the answer, then find out what people love and give that to them instead of your version of love. The second aspect of our idea of helping somebody um, came to me when I started seeing food banks. It was like, okay, I'm dealing with all this abuse. It's all of this freaking crime. There's no way I can even be represented in courts. Um, you know, only the rich can afford a defense and there's legal aid that's underfunded that doesn't even read your file. You pretty much have to know the law yourself while you're feeding the family, while you're going to work and working overtime. And, you know, like there's so much work um, needed for women that, you know, we got to be masters at friggin' everything to be able to accomplish everything. And I got a whole pile of shit going on in my, uh, let me close window. Something's happening. Anyways, um, there's a lot of things that I can say is out there that it's all of that fault. And I just did another video where I can see I definitely could have taken different routes, but I also see a lot of things that need some changing. And until these things get changed, did we God, pick up now just... where we left off? Mr. Stark, please. Yes, dear. Your uh, attention. Oh, I have no idea what that, something popped up on my thing. Anyways, okay, so anyways, there is definitely a problem. I wanted to work. I was working. You know, I did go back to school. I was smart enough to be one of that 10% to get an education and landed a job that if I went through one year of heavy training, lots of hours, I would have earned more than 60000 It probably would have been a career that would have earned me more than 100000 a year. But there were so many pressures put on me to be the answers for everybody, you know, that I couldn't accomplish everything to the point where, yeah, you know, I lived in my heart, my car with my kids a couple of nights. I've, I've lived in a hotel room for probably weeks at a time with my kids. Um, we couldn't find even a place to rent because a lot of people knew that we lived in poverty and, you know, there just was nothing available to us. And then I see these food banks and it's like, yeah, okay, I need food, but I'm seeing so much money and a lot of love, a lot of work being done into food banks when I'm like, well, why aren't you, any of you people looking at the cause, the reason why I need food in the first place? You know, anybody that needs food has something going wrong within our communities, has something wrong within our justice systems has something going wrong someplace that's providing a challenge and for them to get their own food for themselves. I'm not one that wants free food. I'd rather get my own food. And if you notice in a lot of these uh, third world countries, they're being suppressed. They're being intentionally suppressed so one day they'll make good little slaves. That if we deprive them of enough stuff, then one day when we want them to work for next to nothing, they'll take anything. They will do anything for us just to get that little more soul of food. And that's wrong. So, um, it's not about solving problems the way you think it is. I know that I need, I know exactly what I needed. I knew what the solution to the problems that I was facing. And I knew that it takes a community to provide the help that I needed. So at this, it, it's twofold. I needed to ask more effectively, apparently, um, pay attention to why I'm attracting it in the first place. I, I, I will own that up, but as we're making this transition, anybody that does have a problem, they're gonna be asking for something. And you need to listen and give them what they are asking if you can. And not give what you think they need. Right now, I don't want welfare. I would rather get paid for sharing the information I have. So for me, I need to ask for what I'm worth. So it's like give a donation or else, you know, watch it free, but share it with as many people that pays me as well. So that's me asking for some help of what I need, but I don't want your welfare, you know, and I'm grateful 
for it, but we need to put more effort in listening to how people can actually solve their problems and support them as much as possible in that way. And then we start to see some uh, unfolding. So don't be giving your oranges. I love apples. Well, actually, I love oranges and hate apples. It's just a freaking example. <laughs> Peace out.